Well, a thriving cafe on Brisbane's north side is causing a stir, proving social enterprise is becoming big business. The espresso train is making a difference by employing people with disabilities. Just by walking through the door, customers are helping change lives. We don't employ people to make coffee. We make coffee so we can employ people. The appetite for social enterprise or conscious spending has caught on. There's always a friendly face. The coffee's really good. It's a lovely place to come and have a morning coffee. The company's fantastic. Like The guys here that run the place are always really friendly and always up for a conversation and a laugh, so it's really good, yeah. The espresso train at Nunder employs people with mental and learning disabilities. How are you? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Many, like Ian Williamson, would otherwise be forced to rely on government support. Oh, you paid, paid holiday pay and, wow. you know, you paid our long service as well. Danny Thomas is also a veteran with the co-op. I worked in other places and I didn't like it because it was sort of like the boss at the time didn't understand any disabilities or learning difficulties. Here, the workers feel part of a family. Not only do they learn skills like cooking, like eating stir fry and cutting chicken, but it also uh, gives them some life experience as well and it, it gives them some self-esteem. The security is important too. You can't get sacked at all, so it's really good. Yeah. But if you misbehave, you get two weeks off, so yeah, without pay. No. <laughs> the non-profit business is almost totally self-funded with an annual turnover of half a million dollars. We've got to run a, a profitable business so our coffee has to be really good coffee, our food has to be really good otherwise customers wouldn't come back. There are 300 known social enterprise businesses in Queensland and more are being set up. It's not just good food and coffee that makes this business so successful. The members are also looking after many of Brisbane's parks. Go down to the park, come back up and around, please. 20 council parks in the area are carefully tended by Ian Scott and his team. I work with a great bunch of guys, so, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy to have a job. Brisbane consumers are being encouraged to help more willing workers like Ian and Danny into jobs. You as a consumer, you're always going to buy your coffee somewhere. Just think twice about where you buy it and you'll be making a real difference. Yes. That looks divine. How long did it take you to make that? Oh, it doesn't take long. doesn't take long. I tell you what, it looks absolutely delicious. We might have to stay for lunch. You've done a good job. Now